So a former student of mine contacted me recently, he's studying up for the, his CSWP exam, put together the model, and he's trying to compare his mass properties on the model with that, uh, with uh, what it should be in, uh, in his instructional guide that he has. And uh, it's off by a very small amount, but it's still off. And to think about these exams, you have to be, uh, you have to be right on or at least very, very, very close if you have a multiple choice test that you're taking. So the disconcerting thing is, is that if you don't have the right value, you're not putting together the model right, and if you get the initial model wrong, then all subsequent uh, modifications to that model will be wrong too, and you're not going to pass the test. So, so what's the problem here? So if you go to the Mass Properties button up here on the Evaluate tab on the Command Manager and take a look at what we're uh, looking at here, uh, he's looking at a value of 14,207.35 grams, and that's off by like one one-hundredth of a gram. It should be 14,207.34 grams, which is a value he should be getting. So it's a really easy solution. This happened in class, uh, and I did this in class too. I started uh, grading students on, on uh, mass properties, and it could be either the center of mass or the actual mass value in order to evaluate whether students actually put their models to, uh, together correctly. It's an easy way to do that, and SOLIDWORKS does the same thing. So just emulating the way SOLIDWORKS uh, puts together their uh, examinations for their uh, certifications. So this is what you want to do. Go up here to Options. And I notice up here, and somebody at SolidWorks pointed this out to me, if you take your accuracy level and move that from lower to higher, it actually changes it. So as soon as we do that, as soon as we move it over here to higher, you're going to notice that the value from uh, over here is going to be 0.35. It's going to change it to 0.34, which is what it should be. So as soon as you do that and go to OK, bang, it changes that. If we go back to options and do this, uh, just reverse our steps here and take it back to lower, once it gets that higher value in there, once it gets a more, the slightly more accurate value in there, which is probably what SOLIDWORKS is looking at, it still maintains that value. But just to be safe, it says over here that your performance is going to be slower if you choose a higher value. If you notice that uh, you know, things are slowing down, and I've never really noticed it slowing down very much at all, um, just go ahead and keep it up at the higher value, and I think you'll be okay, especially during exam times. So then go to OK, um, just close that uh, dialog box out, and uh, it should maintain itself. So now it's going to have that correct value from that point on. So I hope that helps, and uh, we will see you again.